All right, everybody, today I'm going to do something that most internet marketers will not do for you. Today I'm going to show you, I'm not going to sell you nothing, but there is, there is some expense to this, but it's not going to me. I am going to show you how to make money online. And this is going to be good for just about anybody that is a stay-at-home mom, college kids, want to make a little extra money. Uh, it's not that difficult to do, uh, but there is a certain foundation you have to have. And I know all these internet marketers are out there saying, oh, uh, you're, uh, you, you need to uh, you need to spend a thousand dollars with me and I'll coach you and I'll tell you and buy my product and I'll, I'm gonna I'll make you a rich person. There's very few internet marketers out there that are out there driving around in Ferraris and Lamborghinis and living in big old mansions. Uh, myself personally, I like to travel on the money I make. Uh, and now that my kids are out of school, I'm, I'm looking at doing that more now. Uh, one, I have two, uh, two kids. And uh, I refer to my girlfriend as my wife throughout the videos, so it's the same person. Uh, so don't don't get confused uh, if I call. Don't get confused if I call somebody my wife and my girlfriend. They're the same person. Uh, so uh, with this, we need to you need to understand there's a certain foundation that you have to have in order to make money online, and. The one thing that most people miss out on is you get you get hooked on these uh, products that say, "Oh, uh, my favorite ones are the hacks." Uh, I'm I'm show you how to hack the system and make money. And the uh, Facebook hack on how to make money online. Buy my product for two hundred, five hundred, whatever it is. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to hack it. Well, none of that really works unless you have a foundation to base yourself off of. And the hacks don't work either, to tell you the truth, because uh, if it's if it's something shady, eventually Facebook or whoever they're trying to supposedly hack is going to catch on to the flaw in their in their system, and they'll they'll make a correction on it. It's not going to be good for long. Okay, so my my website is called EasyMoneyForLife.com. Okay, I don't sell you anything, but you will need money. To do some of these things that we're going we're going to be doing today, okay. Now, there's going to be more links on the top, but best price on everything I haven't got got up yet. With getting started and home, getting started, you can go in there review the videos that I have on uh, YouTube straight off my website, and I may have some extra ones that I put on uh, Vimeo that uh, that are going to be very helpful to you. But the, one of the first things you got you, you need to do is you we're going to go through Namecheap to get a, a domain name so if you click on here on my my uh, Namecheap banner here it'll go right to it now I do get credit for these these sales it's not going to cost you anything as far as paying me out of pocket but the companies do pay me to promote their products and the products I use is Namecheap uh, HostGator and we're going to be going with Bluehost because some of you guys might have been kicked off of HostGator uh, for whatever reason. And uh, I'll, I'll talk about the reasons why people get kicked off of uh, off of an internet site as far as uh, the web hosting. Okay. Now, these uh, the web hosting that I have here is going to give you one set web hosting if you if you click on that. Can't get no cheaper than that. So, uh, the actual Bluehost account, uh, if you're f familiar with what we're fixing to do, uh, and Bluehost might be the way for you to go as far as web hosting because they, they give you a really good price for a year's service at a time. you got to pay a year in advance. But I'll show you some tricks on how to get better pricing on that as well. Now, uh, first things first, we're going to start out with uh, Namecheap. Okay, on Namecheap, you got to go come in here and sign up for an account and get your uh, 
get get you a name that people can find you out. My name is Ernesto Galvan. Sorry about that. I should have introduced myself sooner. Okay. Uh, I am a retired automotive mechanic. I have over 30 years of experience as an automotive mechanic. I am what is known as an ASE certified master technician. I worked for Honda for many years and uh, retired from Honda uh, about four years ago, three or four years ago. And one of the questions I get asked the most is, how do I make money online? And when I tell my friends, because I still go and hang out with them, I buy parts for my cars from them, uh, and, I, and occasionally get my car serviced uh, to one of the dealers where I worked at, they ask me, how do you make money online? And I used to tell them, just go online and go on YouTube and you'll find plenty of videos to show you how to get online. And they talked to me about it and said, no, they're, they're, they're trying to get us to spend money. We need to know what you're doing to make money. So after after a while, I went and reviewed the, the videos. And yes, you guys are getting ripped off. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to give you a basic foundation. And we're going to grow off that foundation to get you to a position to where you can make money, pay some bills, uh, Maybe even if if you if you go at this hard enough, uh, actually quit your job. I'm not promising anything. I don't know you. You don't know me. I can't tell you you're gonna make a hundred dollars. I can't make you tell you you're gonna make a thousand dollars. But I'll tell you what: if you don't try, you won't succeed. So let's get started. On uh, on Namecheap, you need to come in here and sign up for an account. Now, what you're gonna get from Namecheap is a domain name. And those of you that are not familiar with domain names, domain names uh, are how people find you. Uh, let's say, for instance, you're uh, Apple.com or Samsung.com or uh, Namecheap.com or you know, HostGator.com. Instead of typing in a whole series of numbers and letters, they simplified it to where it's a name and it directs you to a certain website. So we need to find you a website uh, website name that's suitable for what you're about to do. I have a lot of websites up and running. Uh, one of them is, uh, let's say for instance, uh, I sell on uh, sell, sell my services as far as my expertise on a website for auto, uh, for cars. So obviously you want to have something that is. Uh, centered around cars you're not going to say apple apple uh i watch uh dot com and you're going to have automotive repair tips on there that's not how this works okay even though apple's a hot topic you can probably go in there and put a name in there and pop up a whole bunch of names but if you're not relevant in your category don't don't do something like that okay you're wasting your money you're wasting your time if you're going to try something like that you might as well just stop this video now and and move on okay so you come in here you you create an account and you need to get good email addresses and the bars and everything that you need uh, to know if you don't have a web address uh, let's say for instance you're new to this whole thing that's fine if, if I lose you I have an alternative on how to get you online and how to start making money but my videos are going to walk you step by step on how to set up a WordPress website and everything. If that's still way too much for you, then I, I, there is one alternative and I will show, show it to you. And it's relatively inexpensive for you to get a website up and running. But make sure you're using good email addresses. If you don't have an email address, uh, I suggest that you... Uh, well, obviously you have to have an email address if you're on, uh, on uh, YouTube watching this video. But for some reason you you landed on here and you don't have a good email address just google search how to get an email address or on youtube uh, youtube it and somebody will take you to on how to set up it's very easy not difficult at all okay uh get your uh you're going to get your account login information and you're going to sign in you're going to have a username and a password okay when you sign in i have multiples i got about three or four of them maybe five that are fixing to expire I might let some expire. I might, I might continue on some of them, but uh, I have. You're gonna have all your information right here. Your account balance. I have thirty dollars and thirty-one cents. Okay. Now, in my account, so uh, I use multiple accounts 
when I'm doing what I'm doing. And I'm going to give you the best example on, on why I do this. It's not that I'm trying to trick anybody or, or rip anybody off. Imagine you go to Walmart. You walk into Walmart and they have one item. If you don't, they don't like your one, you don't like that one item, what do you do? You turn around and you leave. Okay. You have to have a variety of things going on. Internet marketing is going to be a lot of web domains going on. If you're in, in, in here for eBay marketing, uh, you want to do some eBay and, and, and a lot of people uh, can't comprehend and grasp the idea of, of uh, owning, not owning physical product and selling, and selling stuff. Uh, some people just have to have a physical product to sell and to make money, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I have, I'm going to have videos up and running on where you can find product to sell. Uh, if you're an eBay already, uh, you may know of some of these websites, but it's not going to be your traditional Doba and all the rest of those other uh, washed out uh, websites that are out there scamming you you make a dollar or two per sale and and everything that's going to be require you to do some work but you're going to also make some money doing it okay so you come in here and what you're going to do is let's go to the first page and you're going to pick a domain name uh and let's just say uh uh let's make oh let's get everything together make money uh, it's got to run it all together. Search it out. I'm sure it's probably taken, but it's going to give you the options of what's available and what's not. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on what you what's going on. Okay. Uh, this might not be. Let's. I'm going to put some funky extension on the end to get some one of a kind uh, searching searches going on here. Uh, let's see one, two, three. Okay, the reason I did that, I want you to see this. Uh, let's make money, 123.com is available. And you see the pricing over here? The pricing is 10.69, 88 cents a year. It renews at 9.88. Uh, 10.88 a year, 88 cents now, it renews at 32.88. Now the reason I bring that up is because if you take this one because it says 88 cents when it renews at $32.88 that's a lot of money okay if you have 10 of these websites going on you're going to be in it for 300 plus dollars just to get these websites up and running where if you get something that's going to renew at $10 a month if you have 10 sites going it's going to cost you only $10 to renew okay so be aware of that when you do this uh, and I, I I have one that's fixing to expire, one of my main ones that's fixing to expire. So you come in here and uh, and I'll show you what what happens when that when that happens. Uh, you go in here and you pick the one that you want. You add it to your little shopping cart, and then you view the cart. And what I like about Namecheap, uh, on Namecheap they give you something that's called uh, Who Is Guard. The first year is free. Uh, next year they're going to charge you for it, but take what you can for free, okay? And who is guard keeps people from finding you, okay? There's websites out there that are dedicated to you. Type in the web do domain address; it'll actually pull up the street address of what that's registered to. So if you're doing something like this, you may want to run it into a a, a post office box or something like that, uh, or you can go to run it to your house if you feel comfortable doing that. Uh, and then you confirm your order and buy it. It'll take you through the whole steps of entering your credit card information and stuff like that to buy it. Uh, I keep mine. I keep mine loaded with uh, with money, just for uh, that purpose. When one expires, it can pull it from that account and whatnot. Now, <clears throat> the one we're going to be working on today is Easy Money for Life. X Y Z. I bought that a while back and I made a video on it, but I didn't like the way the video came out. So now I'm gonna do it again okay uh, my main site is easymoneyforlife.com now keep in mind if you're doing all of your your if you're the only one making websites 
and promoting product and doing stuff like that keep in mind that you want to keep uh if, if you're if you're the only one that's fine you can have one account that's for your main purpose your main purposes if you're sharing an account with somebody else let's say your son is doing it or your wife is doing it or something like that uh, with you you need to have separate accounts for all of them because it'll all mingle in together and you won't know what's what when all these start acting when they start expiring and stuff like that okay and if somebody goes in there and change any of these settings then you're in trouble because you're not going to know where it's going and what's what's happening okay so let's let's get the first one bought you get in here and you're going to manage domains okay you, you, once you bought, purchase it, you're gonna come up. If you got the only, if you bought only one, you're gonna have, be, have only one name here. Okay. And you come in here and you click on Manage Domains. Okay. And from there, we need to get ready to send this name to your web hosting, uh, your web host. And now I have numbers here already because, like I said, I made the video before and I didn't like the way it came out. I have numbers here, but I'm going to show you where to get these numbers in the next video. Okay, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. We're done with getting a domain name. Uh, you should have one. And on the next video, we're going to talk about web hosting. And we're also going to get you set up with a file. Uh, we're also going to talk about getting photos for your website because you can't just go out there and grab other people's images off their websites because a lot of them are copyrighted and you'll get a nasty letter from an attorney telling you to take that picture off but there's web there's there's places out there that you can go out there and get free images and I'll show you where that's at too but for now what I'm going to do is uh, let's see we're gonna go ahead and end the video now and I'm gonna we're gonna the next video goes and we're gonna start with uh, web hosting. Alright, so see you in the next video.